Hi, uh, this is a small example how to create a list and filter it based on the um, data from the list. So here we have the tour list. We see that there are six entries here. And we can uh, we have three buttons here and we can filter, uh, select the tour we want. For example, we can select just the educational tour. So you can see that it's Paris, Cambridge and Oxford. We can select relaxational tour and it's going to be Paris, Nice and Barcelona and we can select all and this is going to be all the tours uh, and you can see that London is only in all category not in edu or relax category so how it works uh, I have a collection here I have a tours collection I have a tour name and tour type in the tour type collection uh, I just list the uh, types of the tour in uh, in writing and this is gonna be the filter I will be using in the list so uh, then here I have the uh, list which is a list of tours and uh, it filters for all tours uh, and there's an additional custom filter here and the custom filter is that tour type contains uh, the temporary uh, user uh, variable so for the user I have the user variable call internal selected tour where I store uh, which tour type has uh, been selected by this user and as you can see that uh, the key here that it's not uh, equal or not equal it contains so uh, if there is even a part of the word uh, in the tour description, the tour type, uh, this um, uh, tour will be displayed. And uh, by pressing this button, I update this uh, variable, internal selected tour. Here I put all, here I put edu, and here I put relax. So as a result, when I'm pressing this button, I'm update, updating the variable and the filter uh, works instantly. So you don't have to refresh the page.